Welcome to National AFV Day Odyssey. We congratulate you for stepping up to the challenge that you've been charged with, to do what you can to clean up our environment and reduce our consumption and dependence on petroleum. Since the inaugural National AFV Day Odyssey back in 2002, you've been changing your attitude and behaviors. It hasn't always been an easy task, but you've stuck to it by making small changes that when added together, create a huge impact. Perhaps you're taking the extra step to sort your trash and recycle, or replace conventional light bulbs with compact fluorescent light bulbs. Maybe you've even started using reusable shopping totes rather than relying on plastic bags. Some of you have gone a step further and have signed up for ride sharing or have increased your usage of public transportation. With the increase in the number of alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles on the roadways today, it's clear that many of you are realizing that transportation habits must change and the sooner the better. Now, at the 5th National AFV Day Odyssey, we want to remind you that our work here is still not done. Together, let's take the next step in the right direction. Thanks to new and innovative technologies, advanced electric drive vehicles and other alternative fuel vehicles can connect us to the future. How do we get there from here? By learning about the next generation of advanced vehicles. Once considered a mere fad or curiosity, the automobile has become a vital part of modern society, and the cars and trucks we drive every day have become bigger, safer, and faster. Their styling has evolved to suit the times, and their equipment lists have grown to rival even our homes in terms of luxury. But for more than 100 years, with few exceptions, they've changed very little under the hood. Most still rely on a conventional gasoline-powered engine. For decades, we've enjoyed the freedom of movement our cars and trucks have provided, but we've been driving blind to the damage it's caused to our environment and the potential risk to our country's energy independence. With all of these new developments, National AFV Day Odyssey is committed to expanding the reach and awareness of alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles and creating a pathway to energy independence. National AFE Day Odyssey is an event developed and coordinated by the National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium, a program of West Virginia University. Working in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Energy, numerous industry groups and organizations throughout the nation, National AFV Day Odyssey enables everyday consumers to learn more about the benefits of alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles through fun, educational, and interactive nationwide events. Through these events, millions of individuals have become aware of the difference that alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles can make in our nation's energy, security, and quest for cleaner air. Now, the United States faces two critical challenges, reducing our dependence on petroleum and decreasing greenhouse gas emissions. And nowhere are these challenges more critical than in the transportation sector, which accounts for two-thirds of our nation's petroleum consumption and about a third of our greenhouse gas emissions. In 2008, the United States consumed 19.5 million barrels of oil per day on average, making us the largest consumer of petroleum in the world, despite having only 5% of the world's population. Yet less than half of that petroleum was produced domestically. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, 18% of our imported oil came from the Persian Gulf states. 19% from Africa, and 25% from Asia and South and Central America. In economic terms, the United States spends $1 billion each day on imported oil. Vehicle emissions can cause irreparable damage to our environment, too. One of the biggest offenders is carbon dioxide, or CO2, one product of vehicle engine combustion. 
many scientific studies point to CO2 as a possible contributor to climate change. Another common pollutant of concern, particularly for diesel engines, is sulfur and the corresponding sulfur dioxide, which when combined with water vapor can cause acid rain, changing soil pH and killing plant life. Other vehicle-related pollutants include nitrous oxides, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, and suspended particulates. Each type of pollution can cause serious problems, not only for the environment, but also for those who live in it. Air pollutants have been attributed to causing or aggravating many medical conditions, including respiratory ailments. Clearly, these challenges need to be addressed, not only to regain our nation's energy independence, but also to clean up our act when it comes to the cars we use. There is no simple answer or single solution to this problem, but for now and the coming decades, the widespread use of alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles, such as advanced electric drive vehicles, offers a pathway to energy independence. On behalf of the U.S. Department of Energy, welcome to AFE Day Odyssey, a biennial event that takes place across the country. We're thrilled that you're able to join us today. Hopefully, you'll learn more about the advanced vehicle technologies on the road today, as well as technologies emerging that will soon be on the road. These technologies are important to address greenhouse gas emissions, as well as reducing our dependency on petroleum. Your attendance here today is also part of the solution. By learning more about alternative fuels, advanced energy technologies, and the vehicles that use them, you can become an educated consumer and lead by example when choosing to drive cleaner, more efficient vehicles. This Odyssey site is one of over 100 sites across the country that is celebrating the clean choices we now have to meet our transportation needs. One very successful development in alternative fuel vehicles is the use of advanced electric drive technology to augment or even replace traditional gasoline-powered cars. To raise awareness for advanced electric drive vehicles, the U.S. Department of Energy is funding the Advanced Electric Drive Vehicle Education Program, a public-private partnership with the mission of educating America on next-generation vehicles. The program will feature curricula, training, education, and outreach activities, web-driven simulators, an educational online toolkit, and support of National AFV Day Odyssey. To promote and further the acceptance and use of advanced electric drive vehicles, this program will provide education and information to consumers, first responders, secondary school educators and students, charging infrastructure engineers and installers, automotive technicians, and fleet operators. Just because we're a mobile society doesn't mean that we have to sacrifice our finite natural resources. Thanks to advanced technology vehicles, particularly the electric drives, such as battery electric, hybrids, and plug-in hybrids, Americans can still enjoy the benefits of personal transportation. Not only are they driving a trend-setting vehicle, they're helping reduce harmful emissions and helping our environment. You see advanced electric drive technology on the road today, primarily in hybrid electric vehicles. But other variations are coming, and together they are leading the charge toward practical green motoring. Battery electrics, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell electric vehicles not only help to reduce our transportation emissions, but also lessen our dependence on petroleum. Of course, electric drive vehicles are nothing new. Some of the very first automobiles were battery powered, and the first gas electric hybrid vehicle, created by a young engineer named Ferdinand Porsche, dates way back to 1899. More than a century later, electric vehicle production is a reality and growing thanks to innovative automotive manufacturers, battery developers, and other technology developers and public investments in clean vehicle technologies.